thought we were trying to be conspicuous about this meeting. Isn't wearing that mask kind of drawing attention to yourself? You seem to forget that I own this campus. Everyone here is under my control, Mr. President. Besides, I can't risk you seeing my real face now, can I? Anyway, what brings you to it? I had a change of heart. I appreciate all the money you've given me, and even the opportunity to run this nation. But I can no longer stand by and watch you kill or torture hundreds of poor souls. Either you surrender, or I come at you with force. <laughs> well, don't make me laugh. I have killed most of your highest ranking agents. You may be the president, but I run this show. And if you think, even for a minute, that you can get rid of me, then I will show you a hell that Satan himself will shudder at. So I give you five minutes to retract that statement. If you beg for forgiveness, I'll forget you even came here today. I stand by my words. I have one agent left. Agent M is nothing to shut up. I know I won't survive much longer, but I also know that I won't be the only one going to hell. You seem very confident in this. Alright, send me your last bond. I'll break him like the rest. And when I do, I will come for you. And I'll be ready for you. How can I help you? Agent M, it's time I explained a few things to you. There's been a terrorist by the name of Boxhead running terror over at Northern Kentucky University. I've sent many agents over to face him, and he's defeated every single one of them. You are the last agent I have. Prepare yourself and head over there. You used to live in one of the dorms, check there first. I want him wiped off this planet. Do whatever it takes to accomplish that. Our future is in your hands. Come back alive. All right, I'll be right there. This ends tonight. But before I investigate this, let me tell you about this amazing breakfast cereal. Agent M cereal. It'll help you start your day right. It's full of vitamins, fibers, antioxidants, and it's rich in nutrients. Trust me. You need this. Buy it. Do it. Some kind of sick joke? This is no joke. Are you Agent M? The final agent I need to complete my collection? Yeah, I'm Agent M, you sick fuck. Are you Boxhead? Yes, I am. I'm glad you've come, Em. I'm surprised the sight of your lost friends doesn't fill you with rage, though. I was kind of excited to see you scream. You don't become the best agent in the business by showing lots of emotions. Those people that you killed, they meant nothing to me. However, I can't turn a blind eye on someone as twisted as you. Where are you, Boxhead? Because I'm going to kill you. You aren't fun. I'm kind of disappointed now. I don't even feel like fighting you now. This isn't a fucking game, Boxhead. 
If you won't tell me where you are, I'll turn this whole fucking campus upside down. Oh, that's the spear den. Come to Griffin Hall and I'll be waiting for you. Congratulations on getting past my henchmen. Well, I'm sure it wasn't too hard, since they weren't really my best troops. Do you know what I'm doing, or even why? Do you know that the president is actually on my side? You heard right. The president of this country is on my side. Because without me, he wouldn't even be in his chair. You see, in exchange for getting him into office, he would supply me with test subjects from his agency. Which is why you are here now. Many others have come before you and all have failed to stop me. With each test, I get closer and closer to accomplishing my final journey, creating the perfect monster. Agent R defeated him with ease. Even Agent A finished him off. But not this time. This time, I have successfully created the perfect man. And with this man, I will destroy this country and everyone inside it. Now feast your eyes on my prized possession. Created with the Planto Mothers. Experiment B!
Hey, Janam, what are you doing here? Foxhead told me about your plan with him. If you were to kill yourself now, you'd end up just like him. Now, I don't like being betrayed, but I know you didn't have much of a choice. I did what I had to do. I'm really sorry for what I did to you and all the agents that I let die. Killing yourself won't wash away the sins you've committed. But take this opportunity and make this country a better place. But you'll have to do it without me. Because I'm resigning. You're right. I made a lot of mistakes. But I'll pave a better future. Have a great life, Agent Man. Or should I call you by your real name? Real no. It doesn't matter what you call me now. You'll never see me again. Goodbye, Mr. President.